Hello, in this video I will show you briefly how to do a flow import. So um, I got asked a couple of times um, how to do that. So here we go. First, you will need to get the flow template. Uh, in my example, I'm just using one of the uh, templates that I uh, had before. Uh, and um, basically you just download this template. Right, and uh, after the template is downloaded, uh, you would go to your tenant, so to, to your environment, to your Office 365 environment. And there, uh, if you navigate to uh, the flow, right, so you, you go uh, here and select Power Automate. Uh, when you want to create a new flow, right? I click on my flows. So do not click create directly, just click on my flows and here you will see an option which is called import. Click on import. And then you can upload this template. So in my case, I'm just uploading this one. When I click Upload, the template gets uploaded and then, uh, you know, you can review the package content. In my case, I have two connections, which is a connection to Excel file and this is a connection to, to Planner file. Um, here you see this select during import and also um, this is the name of the flow so this was the name of the original flow that comes from the template uh, you, here I can select so import as a new package uh, if you do an import in your environment you just want to basically make a copy of the flow then you would select uh, update uh, and uh, since I want to make a um, separate flow, so no, not update the existing one, but to to, to uh, do a separate one, then I, I select create as new. Uh, then I can give it a name like this. Uh, then I do this, select your import. I have a connection here. If you do not have a connection, you can just create new one. And then you will see different options to, to which resources this connection should be made. So in my case, um, let's say you have a file on a Google Drive uh, that you want to read from this file, you know, some data, then you, you click here and connect to, to a specific uh, Google Drive or, you know, some other connections, whatever needs to be done. In my case, I already have the connection set up previously, so I just click here, save. And then I also have to update one of the connections to the planner. So I also use an existing one. The same process would go if I need to create a new one. So I click save. Now all my connections are updated. This uh, name is, is done. Now I can import the flow. It takes a minute to do the import. Okay, uh, now you see all looks green. The, uh, the flow has been successfully imported. And I click here on open the flow. It takes, okay, so now it's here. The next step would be is to update the flow a little bit inside of it. Let's say in my case I have this file name which is called tasks plan which is uh, you know on my Google Drive somewhere. If I had a different file on this Google Drive then I would of course have to select it here uh, you know to update it. And then also, let's say if I had a different planner to, to do the updates, then under create task, I would select the 
different planner ID and then I would have to update the title if it's different from the original one. So basically when you do the flow import you have to update the connections right and then you would also have to update uh, the things inside the flow so if you have uh, references to specific file names they have to be um, updated and also you know some some other objects so you, you basically have to look through the whole flow and see which objects do not exist of course if i do the test it will um, do the you know it will try to to check all these connections for you and see if, if you know you, you'll get some errors if something is broken that's it you know that's quite simple so this is to do the import uh, one more time to summarize to make sure when you do the import instead of clicking create on the flow you go to my flows and there is an option to import flow uh, and also when uh, you do the import make sure your connections are created properly so in this case if i go to this flow you see on the connections i see diff two two of them i can edit and select different connections and of course inside the flow if things have to be updated make sure it's done so when i click edit you know if i want to read from a different file i have to put it here um, that's it. It's quite simple. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's a bit helpful. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Bye bye. Now I need to switch off this. Alt.